Okay, so I went ahead and texturized. This is the second one I've texturized. Take in a little bit of the color off, but that is the color. And then I just used the napkin to kind of to blot it and make the reptile like skin. Okay, so this one's done. Okay, so as you can see, I iced the whole side, or the whole sides, and went ahead and put red icing, just a small amount of red icing that I made on the inside of the downturn fondant. So now I'm just putting in some jelly to make it look like this goopy substance. I also mixed the red with a little bit of um, dark green food coloring. So I'm just putting some jelly straight out of the jar into the top of this so it makes it look goopy and gross in there. And then I'm going to use some green gel and kind of, I put a crack on the side. I'm going to fill that in with that. And then, as you can see, this is pretty much almost done. It looks gross, doesn't it? It's perfect. So once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the freezer for a little bit and let it harden up, including the jelly, which it's edible, the entire thing, even the cocoa powder and the the um, cake that's on here, but, you know, you're not really going to eat the platter. And uh, the jelly is edible, but again, probably not going to be served as part of the cake, but, you know, it's a neat touch. So, okay, I'm going to put some green icing on now. Have the gel, and then we'll do the roots, too. Okay, so I placed one of the cakes on the platter, and... I'm going to go ahead and start getting the other ones on there as well. So, that looks pretty cool. Turn the light up. Then I'm going to get the roots on there, which are here. And I just transferred it. I left it on the wax paper from the plate that I had it on and transferred it. And then I used a razor blade and just cut around the edges, as you can see. So there's still a little bit of wax paper under there, but that's totally okay. Okay, so I'm going to get the next cake and put it on. Alright, so now I, as you can see, placed hmm, the second cake on, and I still have the what's going on? Ah, there, that's the problem. <laughs> So I still have the wax paper there, and I'm going to cut that off with a razor blade, and then put the third one on, which is going to be higher up in the back. Okay, <laughs> I'm so excited. So I have them all placed, and I'm really, really pleased with how it's turning out. Um, let's see how the lighting looks. I have the one slightly elevated. That's I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to arrange the face overs yet. So, okay. It's looking so neat. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> So now, I'm trying to be quiet because it's late. I'm just basically placing the roots where I want them. And that's it. <laughs> There's no really scientific method to it. I made them earlier, so it's nice and easy to get them on there. Oh, that was a neat looking one. And then after I get all the roots where I want them, I'm going to, <laughs> my hands are stained, I'm going to take the sponge brush and just kind of sponge it on there. And then I'm going to put some more cocoa powder dirt on and cover up all the powdered sugar that's still on them and any white areas of cake platter left. All of that, so I'm gonna. 
do that now. Okay, so now I have sprayed the face hookers with some pan <laughs> to give them like a gross look and then rubbed in some of the green gel icing and put a little red icing here to make it look slimy. And actually so I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just gonna do it with one hand to mix it hard. Okay. Okay. So here is the finished product. I'm sure I'll make a few tweaks once I refrigerate it a little bit, let the icing harden up and fix the the outside of it, but all in all, I am pleased with how it turned out. And I'm sure I'll videotape more later. Whoops. <laughs> okay, and here is the finished product. We have a little flag with his initials and age. Burning a little bit. Looks kind of neat. And the face covers. And the roots. And the gooey ground. I'll try to get it tomorrow in the daylight 